What are the important differences between organic and non-organic produce, and which is better? Well, in this day of expensive grocery prices, we're always confronted with prices in the produce section of organic versus non-organic. And we're really trying to decide, well, what do I want for my health? A lot of it depends on what you're going to do with that product. So for instance, a product that you're going to take the peel off of and not eat, or you're going to take the shell off of, like a nut, you're probably not going to get a huge amount of benefit by paying the extra money for organic. If there were pesticides sprayed on that tree or that plant, you're going to remove those pesticides. On the other hand, if it's something that you're actually going to eat untouched and not peel, then you're probably better off paying the extra money for organic because you're going to avoid those pesticides, herbicides that are probably sprayed on that product. Be careful though, organic is not always better, particularly when it comes to lectin-containing foods. So just because it says organic on the label isn't guaranteeing that that food is good for you. For instance, organic beans are no better for you than non-organic beans unless they're pressure cooked because they have lectins. Similarly, an organic tomato is just as bad as a regular tomato because the peel and the seeds have the lectins. And I could go on and on, but just because you see the word organic, you actually have to know whether that food that's organic or not is actually good for you in the first place. Organic fruit that you don't peel may seem to be a better for you, but if you're eating an organic apple that's the size of a grapefruit, the sugar content in that organic apple is going to do you harm even though that apple is organic. So know what you're getting for your organic product.